we work really hard to educate, empower, and enlighten women to use real estate as an investment tool to help them fund their future. We've done a um, quite a transformation here. This room used to be dark green, and it used to have a brick wall back here. When we started here, you couldn't walk. It was crazy. Yeah. The amount of um, of land clearing, earth moving. Sherry and Joan and Lori and I bought a fourplex. It is located in a town called Tambor, and that is within the Nicoya Peninsula. And why the Nicoya Peninsula is so important is it's actually one of the five blue zones in the world. Something popped up in my feed early Sunday morning, and of course, Sherry knows that I'm up at 6 a.m. when all the listings come up, and uh, I'm like, hey, this looks kind of like it might work. Uh, Sherry went to see it at noon for me, did a video walkthrough uh, on uh, FaceTime, and by five o'clock, I owned it. Uh, it has been about, um, uh, four weeks, three weeks, three and a half weeks since we took over our the roomy house. Um, it's 14 bedrooms at Bloor and Spadina. Uh, so right in the heart of downtown, right beside the Spadina subway station. We did it. We did it. It was so much work and tons of stress. But now we are the proud new owners of a 145 acre Ocean View subdivision. And we just got an accepted offer on the fourplex. We did? Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> uh, yay! She sends it. She's like, go see it this weekend. I've got a good feeling. Sure enough, I go see it on the weekend. We put in an offer. We get the offer accepted on Saturday. And I'm like, I can't believe what's happening right now. So we call her again this morning. See down on Brett's homestead where the barn will be built. Its savings rate jumped to 28% in the second quarter of 2020 and 14.6% in Q3. So that's the impact of COVID on Canada household savings rate, which is just out of this world. Here's what uh, what the years look like moving forward, one through five. And so this is what I'm talking about. Look at this ROI. Now listen to these numbers. These are crazy numbers. These are record numbers for us in Atlantic Canada some really good opportunities. I mean, I would say that if anybody wants to pick up a duplex or a fourplex in your area or, or Halifax and can get a good deal, um, could be great for setting up an executive rental or, uh, or just a, a good cash flowing um, opportunity. You just have to be comfortable being outside of your geographic area. Bigger spaces where they have offices to work from home, they're buying um, spaces where kids can do schoolwork, where maybe mom can come and live in the basement so that they are in the same bubble. The thing about we're seeing that migration from the cities to the more, you know, suburbia and then even suburbia into more rural, um, but immigration is still happening in the cities. So expecting to see some balancing of um, even those, those, you know, Toronto 416 or other city properties because of migration. All you uh, folks who are running this business now, because that's what you have to think about it. Whether you're Crown Capital building build, big buildings or whether you're an invest, investor investing in projects, you have to think of this from a business point of view and you're going to have your team. Your team's going to include a good realtor, good lawyer, good accountant good mortgage broker. So we use a standard buy, rent and hold worksheet, which I know the font is small here, but this is how we crunch our numbers that we then are going to show you on the slide. We have a lot of fun. We're very collaborative. We're all about empowerment. We're all about lifting each other up. Uh, as I've already mentioned, we've done uh, lots of different joint ventures, uh, working on a project right now with Lori and Sherry and Joan. That's our 22 unit uh, Esquimalt rental building that many of you are investing in. It's about 80 percent women I think still uh, investing in that project and and uh, lots of fun that we're having and, and lots of exciting things going on so very collaborative group we love to welcome new people and uh, our group is very warm and very friendly and we're all about lifting each other up uh, it's really exciting to me when I can be in a room full of women like yourselves where we can have these conversations because they're not happening at my day job <laughs> there's so much yeah. going on it's insane yeah I, I've just been so blessed and, and I'm just so excited to take so many women on the ride with me. It's work, but if you can set yourself on a path that gets you to those goals, 
And and that usually means that you got to go out on the skinny branches. So we've been talking about that a lot, right? You have to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and it's 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 easier to get out of your comfort zone when you're surrounded by people who are used to being out of their comfort zone on a regular basis and can all kind of say, yeah, it's not that bad out here. I like being out on the skinny branches. So, you know, I know um, one of the things that generally has attracted a lot of us together is we have this desire um, to travel um, and we want to be location independent. So we want to be able to work from wherever we are in the world, whether that's in Moncton or Mexico or somewhere in between or somewhere on the other side of the, the globe.